Hey guys, Jack or Moaning Late here, and today I'm going to be going through the Little Big Planet 3 challenge, Now You See Me. I played through this challenge level a few days ago, and I got up to 62nd on the leaderboard, but I thought, you know what Jack, you can beat that, you're already in the top 5%, but there's no harm in trying to better yourself. So I'm going to jump straight back in and try and beat my score. The first thing you'll notice is that it is based on the Great Magician's Palace from the Temples levels in Little Big Planet 1, except with a Little Big Planet 3 update to the visuals. So it still uses the same kind of grey and yellow stone, but with a lot more decoration and a different mechanic basically. So in the first Little Big Planet games in the Great Magician's Palace, the whole idea was that blocks would appear and disappear for you to be able to get past flaming objects basically. And it's the same in this, except it's not the blocks disappearing, it's you. And this is a race version of that kind of level, where whenever you go in the blue, you obviously disappear. You would have seen it by now anyway, but just in case you were wondering what on earth was going on, if you go in the blue, you disappear. Now, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, platformers are my favourite kind of levels in Little Planet, and they are my favourite kind of games, just in general anyway, even outside of Little Planet. I am also incredibly competitive, so combining a platformer with a race element, where you need to keep a big score combo going with multipliers, is right up my street. In, in this run, I don't actually do as well as I did in my or before I started recording these videos, before I recorded I got up to 60 seconds. This one wouldn't have got me anywhere near, because I think I messed up the combo twice maybe? Maybe only once, but still it's not going to be good enough to get anywhere near the top of those leaderboards. Although of course it is more than enough to get that gold star, which is honestly really easy to get as long as you keep that combo going. Um, you don't really need to worry too much about the actual race, because that doesn't get you as many, like, anywhere near as many points as just trying to keep up that combo. For instance, I have been doing some big old geeking, some geek times, and I realised that in this run that you're watching now, I collected 284 bubbles with a 57 times multiplier. Now, I didn't go through and count how many I collected, I just did the maths to figure it out. Um, but yeah, basically, I collected 284 bubbles, the top of the leaderboard is MB Mamandas. I don't have a clue how you're supposed to pronounce it, but that's what it is. And I figured out that they must have collected either 337 bubbles with uh, 9,445 left on the clock to add on to their score, or 338 bubbles with 8,105 left on the clock, which could account for more time collecting bubbles. So I think that the the kind of ideal situation is that you're going to have to be taking it slowly to make sure that you're collecting as many bubbles as possible but without that combo breaking which is going to be insanely hard so as I said in this run I get 284 they got probably 338 bubbles which is 54 more than what I got which is uh, basically about a sixth added on again a sixth uh, a fifth, a fifth added on again. So basically I've given up, there is no way I'm going to get anywhere near that top score. Uh, I could probably get into the top 10 if I gave it a bit more effort, but I think this run is probably good enough in terms of how I'm going to do. I can't see myself getting any higher. Hopefully that little tip helped. Let me know what score you get, especially if you beat me, because if enough of you beat me I might have to jump back on and, <laughs> and try and show you how it's done. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!